The Nikon Z7 III is slowly becoming the subject of serious speculation, and although the camera hasn't been officially announced, the rumor mill is generating a lot of excitement. According to the latest leaks, the Z7 III could launch sometime between August and November 2025, placing it strategically between Nikon's existing mirrorless offerings. This potential timing positions the Z7 III to bridge the gap in Nikon's lineup, sitting comfortably between the Z63, which is more oriented toward video and mid-range resolution, and the Z8, the full-frame all-rounder powerhouse. The Z7 III seems to be aimed primarily at photographers who demand high-resolution still performance, making it a particularly attractive option for landscape, portrait, and studio shooters. In terms of design, the Z7 III is expected to follow Nikon's established approach, solid, rugged, and functional. Nikon has long been known for producing cameras with strong weather sealing, ergonomic grips, and durable builds that prioritize usability over flashiness. Rumors suggest that the Z7 III might resemble the Z63 in size, but there could be subtle ergonomic improvements to make it more comfortable for extended shooting sessions. Attention to layout, button placement, and overall handling could set this camera apart in its segment, especially for photographers who need both portability and long-term comfort for intensive shoots. The classic Nikon feel, practical, reliable, and sturdy, seems likely to remain at the core of this design philosophy, while minor refinements could enhance usability further. When it comes to the sensor, the Z7 III is generating the most excitement. While the Z7 III featured a 45-megapixel full-frame sensor, rumors suggest that the Z7 III could offer a significant jump in resolution. Speculation ranges from 45 megapixels, maintaining parity with the Z7 III, up to as high as 67, 88, or even 90 megapixels. Although some of the higher figures may be exaggerations or clickbait, it's clear that Nikon is aiming for high-resolution photography as a central focus. A sensor in the 67 to 90 megapixel range would make the Z7 III an exceptional tool for photographers who demand ultimate detail for landscapes, commercial work, and studio applications. Managing such high-resolution files will be a challenge in terms of storage, processing power, and workflow efficiency, but modern processing engines and dual-card setups could help mitigate these issues. Autofocus is another area expected to receive substantial improvements. One of the criticisms of Nikon's previous high-resolution models, including the Z7 II, was inconsistent animal and bird-eye tracking performance. The Z7 III is rumored to include a significantly upgraded autofocus system, potentially leveraging a new XPED7 processor or even a dual-processor configuration to improve speed, accuracy, and reliability in both still photography and dynamic shooting scenarios. These upgrades would make the Z7 III appealing to wildlife and sports photographers who need fast, precise autofocus for unpredictable subjects, while also maintaining excellence in traditional studio and landscape applications. Video capabilities are also rumored to be a major selling point for the Z7 III. Historically, Nikon mirrorless cameras have been strong in stills but less competitive in the video arena. However, the Z7 III could change that narrative by offering high-resolution 8K video and enhanced 4K recording options, including high frame rate capture at 100 or 120 frames per second for buttery smooth slow motion footage. This combination of high-resolution video and advanced frame rates could appeal not only to hybrid photographers, but also to content creators who need a camera capable of delivering professional quality video alongside stills. Advanced codec support, internal 10-bit recording, and log profiles could further elevate its video capabilities, making it a viable option for serious videographers who require cinematic quality results from a mirrorless system. Beyond resolution and video, other rumored features indicate a camera packed with professional-grade functionality. Dual memory card slots, likely supporting CFX and SD formats, would provide reliability and high-speed recording. The electronic viewfinder is expected to offer high resolution for critical framing and focus evaluation, while the LCD may be tilting or fully articulating, accommodating versatile shooting angles. 
In body image stabilization is rumored to provide up to eight stops of compensation, allowing for handheld shooting in low light conditions or longer exposures without a tripod. High speed burst shooting is also expected, with rates potentially reaching 10 to 14 frames per second in RAW, catering to photographers capturing fast action in sports or wildlife settings. Low light performance enhancements would further solidify the Z7 III as a versatile tool for both controlled studio work and unpredictable outdoor environments. Timing appears to be a crucial factor in the Z7 III's market strategy. Launching in late 2025 would give the camera sufficient distance from the Z63's release while still maintaining momentum in Nikon's mirrorless ecosystem. Strategically positioned, the Z7 III could capitalize on consumer anticipation attracting photographers looking for a high-resolution option without committing to the Z8's higher price point or larger size. By filling this niche, Nikon could appeal to a broad audience, from professional photographers who need extreme detail to enthusiasts who want premium features in a manageable package. One of the challenges the Z7 III faces is balancing ultra-high-resolution capabilities with practicality. Files from a sensor approaching 90 megapixels would be enormous, placing demands on memory cards, storage solutions, and computing power. Nikon will need to ensure that the camera's processor and buffering system can handle these files efficiently, delivering smooth performance without long delays between shots. Efficient file compression, high-speed memory card compatibility, and robust processing architecture will be key to making the Z7 III functional for real-world professional use. Additionally, heat management will be critical, especially when shooting extended bursts, high-resolution video, or in warm environments. Effective thermal design, potentially borrowing innovations from Nikon's previous models, will be essential to maintain performance while preventing overheating. Ergonomics and handling are likely to remain a strong suit for the Z7 III. Nikon has consistently designed cameras with a focus on comfort, balance, and intuitive controls. Even if the body needs to grow slightly to accommodate higher performance hardware or larger batteries, the company will likely prioritize tactile dials, balanced weight distribution, and a user-friendly interface. These design considerations are particularly important for photographers who spend long hours in the field or in studio settings. A camera that feels natural in hand, combined with a well-laid-out control scheme, can make the difference between a good shooting experience and a frustrating one, particularly with a camera of this technical sophistication. In terms of autofocus, the Z7 III could mark a turning point for Nikon's high-resolution mirrorless cameras. Fast, reliable autofocus is becoming increasingly important for professionals and hybrid shooters alike. Eye tracking, subject tracking, and improved low-light performance are likely priorities, addressing historical shortcomings in Nikon's medium and high-resolution systems. The combination of a high-resolution sensor with a highly capable autofocus system could make the Z7 III competitive with rival offerings from Sony and Canon, providing photographers with the tools needed to capture both precise stills and fluid motion. This analysis captures everything known so far about the Nikon Z7 III, from sensor resolution rumors and autofocus improvements to video capabilities, ergonomics, and professional features, painting a comprehensive picture of what could be a landmark addition to Nikon's mirrorless lineup. With each new leak, the anticipation grows, and photographers worldwide are eagerly waiting to see how the Z7 III performs in real-world scenarios and whether it can live up to the high expectations set by its predecessor models.